Yo, what is going on guys? Prevised here. I'm going to be teaching you how to make your character completely invisible. Uh, your body parts are going to be invisible. Your hats are going to be removed. Your face uh, will be removed or, you know, just it's going to be invisible pretty much. So, your character is going to be unseen. So, yeah. Um... This is something that I did kind of in Project Shift. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever played Project Shift, but it's a race car game that I've worked on. Uh, and I know it's not done, but I had to use that for Project Shift. Um, just so you can't be seen like while sitting down in the cars and things. But you can figure out what this could be useful for. But first off, let's go in Server Script Servers. We're going to right click, Insert Object, Script. So we have the script. Um, just name it, and I'm just gonna do invis, but you should know what it means. It just invisible. Okay. So let's start off by let me zoom in a bit. Okay. Now let's start off by doing the player added event. So game dot players dot player added connect function. So this is the function for whenever a player joins it's going to fire and then it takes parameter of the player that joins so we're gonna put in player next we're going to do the character added event which is um, which gets the players character whenever the because um, there's a difference between a player and a character the player is the actual player like your uh, it's kinda like your computer because uh, like whenever you join in the server your player is gonna be added and then your character is what gets stored. It's the objects. It's the model. Your your character model, pretty much. Like with that holds all your your body parts, pretty much. Your humanoid, your hats. And yeah, that loads in after the player. So then this is going to have a parameter of the character that's being added because this is an event. And now we can loop through the character. So. We're gonna do while wait do. So this is gonna be a loop, and we're gonna use this loop uh, to go through the character. Um, actually, let's let's do far i part in pairs. No, i child child in pairs. Then we're gonna loop through the character. So we're gonna do character. We're gonna get all the children inside of character. So this is gonna get all the children inside the character. Then we're gonna do uh, we're gonna say if child. So if child is a, whoops is is a you have to type it in right is a part. So if it's a part, then child dot transparency. Uh, transparency equals one. Now this would work for r6 uh yeah r6 but for r15 it's called something else so as you can see i'm um i'm r6 right yeah i'm r um i have the r6 rig but if you were r15 they were they would be called um let's see let's go to the avatar and let's enable the r15 rig um so yeah i'm r6 i should be yeah, I don't know why I'm R6, probably for testing. I'm going to stop and I'm going to play again. And I believe they're called like Union Operation or like some type of mesh. I think maybe mesh part. Let's see. So, um, uh, maybe this game is R6 only, so maybe I, I can't see. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to plugins. Uh, you don't have to do this. I'm going to go to rig builder, R15, block rig. You don't have to do that. I'm just seeing what the name is. It's called a mesh part. Yeah. Okay. A mesh part. So, you know, go back in our script. So we're going to say if child is a part or child is a mesh part, then. So this is going to now work for R15. Then we're going to do that. Okay. Um, okay. All right. So now we have that. Now we can 
now we can make um let's do if child yeah if child is no whoops if child is a let's remove the hats now so a hat is accessory i guess i'm saying that right accessory then child destroy so we're gonna remove all the hats oh look like it worked oh no um let's go inside our character okay accessory then we destroy okay, let's see what's going on we're not getting an error so accessory is supposed to accessory um so if child is accessory then child destroy um let's do let's do else if child is a accessory then child destroy and I don't think it worked no um okay let's try something else just trial and error you know what I'm saying I mean trial whatever sometimes things don't work you have to try different methods different ways of doing it so I'm going to loop through the character again and then if child is a accessory we're gonna remove this R part. We don't need that. And child destroy. Okay, we're gonna try this. I think it's because the hats are taking a while to load in. I think that's the problem. No. Okay. Mm, that that might be why. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add a wait to. And then okay yeah that was the problem it was because of that you know it, it was taken the, the hats don't load in right away it takes some time to load in so we're gonna have this weight um, I wonder what happens if I just have a weight with nothing inside okay yeah it removed one thing so we're gonna have a wait too, um, just so every all the hats can load in. So now that we have that, what we can do now is remove the face. So let's go back in play mode. Okay, so I'm going to go in my character. So this is my character that holds all the parts. So if we go in head, and as you can see, there's something called face. So we could change the transparency, or what would happen if we removed it? So that there's two ways that we can, or there's a few, actually a few ways of going about this. So let's um, let's just make let's make another loop. So, or actually. Uh, let's 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 do let's make it else if else if child so if it's a nope no nope, we can't do that we can't do that I'm just realizing okay now we're going to loop through the the character's head actually no we don't need to loop actually okay we're not gonna loop at all we don't need a loop we do know that inside the character there's something called a head for that's that, there is something called a head for R6 and R15 rigs so that's good so character dot head dot face so as you've seen as I showed you earlier there was the decal called face that was inside the head so we could either destroy or change the transparency or there's another way of changing the decal ID so let's just just let's destroy it as you can see we are completely invisible now if this does not work for you guys um, then I would recommend putting don't raging and don't say oh I spent like 40 minutes on on this and trying to understand your code or whatever just paste the code in the description and I'll be sure to help you but 
um, punctuations uh, matter. So you know you can't have a dot here. So it can't be like I dot child. Um, so yeah, but that's basically it. And I know if if you if you're watching this and you do see that, because you know I'm kind of confused. I I know that I have to use a wait here. Um, but like if there's a better method. And if you know if you know a better method, please let me know in the comment section. Uh, yeah. So that's basically it. It worked perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like and subscribe. Peace.